David and G, would you like to take this to the future first? Come on up, boys. <laughs> David and G, you guys drew the future. You were so excited to get it. <laughs> Let's take the train through the future, Brick Man. We went with this giant oil rig idea because we're thinking, well, if it's the end of the world, the Earth's flooded, it's a floating platform. This is the safe haven for everyone to live in. So we're going that, like, post-apocalyptic, oil's running out. It's like people are going to fight over resources. They've obviously been travelling around looking for bits and pieces to salvage. Everything is flooded. You can see rooftops poking out. It's a good story, it's just whether Brickman's going to think that is a good story as well. Guys, you have given us a very creative and slightly depressing view of the future here. It's almost like a Where's Wally in terms of, like, the level of detail you've gone to. Like, a team salvaging floating planks of wood, floating oil barrels, some of which are rusted, some of which aren't. These guys up here kind of like demolishing a building for scrap. I do like the fact that we've caught a shark here, but missed a shark in the water who's heading for the guy that's in the rubber ducky. One all. <laughs> Brickman, what are your thoughts? You almost had a bit of a false start, didn't you? The first sort of couple of hours, pardon the pun here, but you were totally at sea, weren't you? Yes. You were out of your comfort zone. And I think the biggest pivotal point that you guys made was to turn it into water. I think that was your total saviour. If it had gone on for maybe another half an hour or an hour, you literally would have been sunk. It would have been game over. Yes. 